So moving on, uh, Trey Mancini signed a two-year, $14 million contract with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, there's an opt-out after the first year. I just, I don't know why he went to the Cubs. I really yeah, don't feel Yeah, I didn't move. like it. I didn't like the move. I, I Trey Mancini is a guy that you can really market around. And and is he's a solid player, right? Like he was has very good defense. He literally kind of saved that that play in the World Series. He kind of saved that game for them against the Phillies. And he goes to the Cubs, which I, again the Cubs are a a good team. I think they'll be second or third in in the NL Central. But I think that just after signing Eric Hosmer, I don't understand why he would go there. I mean, maybe that's just maybe he just wanted the most money, and maybe they were the only team willing to offer him fourteen million over two years. I could see that. It's just like, a I maybe this is me not understanding the Orioles' direction, which is really what it feels like. I don't understand why he's not wearing a Baltimore Oriole uniform next year. Um, <sighs> but like he's a fine bat. Like obviously he was, uh, he didn't look great in Houston. Uh, pretty no. much his whole tenure there, but he's a good bat. He has consistently been a well above league average hitter. Uh, Trey Mancini is an opt out after this year. Honestly, though, this does provide the Cubs an option if Trey Mancini or if the Cubs are kind of like failing, um, and they're out of the playoff contention. He's easily a guy that could be traded again at the deadline. There is yeah. that opt out, so teams can see like, Hey, he's having a good season. He's going to exercise the opt out and he can go. And then this guy's off of our books in one season. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I think, I think there is upside to this move and to the, to your Orioles point, I think it's, he's 30 and I think they're trying to keep like young guys on their roster and they want to stay younger. I do think you need those veteran presences presence though. And I think Mancini would have been perfect because not only, is he a good veteran presence? He's a good defender. He can hit the ball. He just wasn't able to in Houston. And everyone loves him in Baltimore. He he was the face of the Baltimore Orioles. It just feels like he could have fit in so well as a bench bat or something there. Like, you yeah. make the argument that they want to keep it young, but they go out inside 35-year-old Kyle Gibson. Um yeah, but that's because he's a pitcher. That's that's the only still, that's the only difference in my head, at least. I I think there's just a bench of Ryan McKenna, Taryn Vavra, Jorge Mateo, and James McCann could use a little thump in Trey Mancini. Fair. Um, obviously, Stev's talked about it. The Cubs have Eric Hosmer as their first baseman right now. Um, so I guess they'll platoon, but they also had this prospect, uh, first base prospect, Matt Mervis who led the minor leagues in home, run this, home runs this year was 36. So I don't understand why they're blocking this guy. Like, effectively, with Eric Hosmer, he could platoon or something like that, but they full-out blocked him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, because you could, you could run the DH, but even then, he's kind of – yeah, you're right. He's just kind of – he's kind of screwed, and he's stuck. Exactly, like because you it, went out. I, I mean, I get, I get going out and signing these big name guys and trying to make a roster. Like they're trying to do it the opposite way. They're trying to go out and buy a team right now, which I don't, I don't necessarily see the value in. I think the argument too is like a team that's trying to buy a team was the Rangers, right? But they did it. They've done it over multiple off seasons, and in doing so, picked up stars. Yeah, the like Cubs you picked a, up, yeah, Bellinger think, and Mancini. And Dan, they have Dansby Swanson. Well, but... uh, again, I was trying to make a different point. I was trying to make they, they, oh, yeah. they were bad signings, not not good signing. We don't oh, talk okay. about the one good signing they had. <laughs> yeah, but Matt Mervis, the guy that he's blocked right now, he was in A plus ball or high A, double A, and triple A this year. His worst OPS on any of these levels was a nine sixty six. He had a nine fourteen OPS in the Arizona Fall League with us uh, with six home runs and sixty eight plate appearances. This, you've blocked this guy. I mean. I don't know. I, I it's 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 really tough. I mean, again, he is still young, so like, it's not like you can't. It's not like he he's running out of time, right? Oh, of course, he was drafted by the Nationals. Um, but he's also twenty four. He's gonna be twenty five in the middle of the season. That's fair. I mean, I again, and and you're probably gonna go out and you're gonna trade a guy. You're they they. Let's be honest. They're probably going to trade one of Cody Bellinger, Trey Mancini, or Eric Hosmer by the deadline. Yeah. So, 
I mean, I guess th- at that point, then it opens up and maybe he can come in and at the end of the season and perform well. Possibly. It's also like that starting rotation is not competitive. Maybe Matt Mervis gets moved. He is a relief pitcher. That's what it said on his baseball reference. Matt Mervis? It says he's positions. A, he's a first baseman. It says for, uh, look at his baseball. But why does it have relief baseman. pitcher? It says first baseman, relief pitcher. He hasn't third pitched baseman. since. Oh, he pitched in college. Oh, okay. Like I mean, again, a... you could could throw him back there. I'm just saying. This dude doesn't pitch. If you really, if you really need pitching, um, uh, but like I guess a team could try like offer a low tier starting pitcher for him because right now it's Marcus Stroman, Jamison Tyone, Justin Steele, Drew Smiley, and Keegan Thompson. I wouldn't put that under the definition of competitive. Uh, I I mean I agree. I think Tyone uh, Tyone needs to have a strong season. And and Stroman really struggled last year. So and then past them, those guys are, are not gonna get the job done. Yeah. So again, Cubs make a signing, Trey Mancini, two years, 14 million with an opt-out. It is it is nonetheless a baseball move. Okay. Um 